I usually wore my hair down because it was long in those days, and the little dress I wore was a silk dress, and we were working at the carnival at night where the guys were all in parkas, and I'm a little silk dress, and you know, they say, action, hello, and you, and you just relax and, and do it. Um, I think the glasses were, were very instrumental. Uh, Mr. Hitchcock, you see, I still say Mr. Hitchcock. <laughs> um, he said, go to this uh, eyeglass place and pick out some glasses. Well, what kind? Whatever you want to pick up. And I found those, and they made six pair. They made two with a very, very, very thick lens. They were so thick, I could not see the blur of my hand in front of my face. So basically, I did the, the picture blind, and Robert Walker, who was just brilliant, he wore thick glasses. And so on this film, I wore thick glasses and he didn't, so he said, well, it's the blind leading the blind. And then we had two pair that were medium lenses, and I never saw those, and two pair that were just kind of clear glass for long shots. We improvised a, a lot, not in the written dialogue. The written dialogue was done as written, but from the time the two young men picked me up at my house and we went out to go to the carnival. That was all improv. You know, it was just, hi, come on, let's go to this, oh, did you see that? And whatever would bubble up at the moment. And, um, and again, if you watch it very closely, you'll see, for instance, we left the house to get onto the bus and you'll see just before we get onto the bus, one will give me his hand, the other one, and I'll go up the steps because I didn't know where the steps were. And they were helping me find that. It was the same through the entire sequence. If it was something that needed help, they were there to help and make it look like, you know, we were just having fun holding hands or whatever. Same thing happened. I think I came out of a close-up and ran toward the carousel, not being able to see the carousel and having to jump onto the moving carousel. That one was tricky, <laughs> but they helped and I made it. When Bruno comes up and flicks his light and he says, Is your name Miriam? She looks at him in all its anticipation and says, Why, yes. And then he starts to strangle her and the glasses fall. That was all exterior. But then we went, probably a week later, onto the stage at Warner Brothers and on an empty sound stage, Mr. Hitchcock had this big, round, kind of concave mirror type of thing and it was on the floor. And he said, All right, Laura turn around backwards, and the camera's shooting into the concave mirror. So I was standing with my back to it, far enough away. He said, lean over backward, like you're doing the Lindy. He said, and Laura, float to the ground. Float backward, oh, yes, Mr. Hitchcock, you know. So I turn around, action, and I'm, because I'm not a gymnast, you know, I've never done. Anyway, I start floating, floating, floating. I get halfway and go clunk onto this cement floor. Cut, Laura float to the ground. Yes, Mr. Hitchcock. Get going, 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 you'll go, go clunk again. Seven times, the seventh time I got tired of hitting that cement, I literally floated backwards all the way to the cement floor. All he said was cut, next shot. I must say I was a little disappointed. It didn't change my career. And I think it should have because I had brilliant write-ups, thank God, in Reporter and Variety and things. But because it was a loan out from Paramount to Warner Brothers, I don't think they knew what I did. And uh, by the time it came out or something, I, you know, I mean, I didn't go to the front office and say, hey, did you look at that picture that I, you know, it didn't happen. I remember the first thing that I did after shooting the film uh, I went as a contract player, I went back and they had me holding up color swatches so the camera crew could test color. Well, that's fine, you know, I don't mind, but I really thought, you know, it might make some difference. But I've been very lucky, that was classic, turned out to be. Peyton Place, I was on 252 episodes, that was a classic television series. And then to go right on to Bewitched, which was another top ten, you know, those are three classic things that I fortunately enjoyed and was able to participate in.